All right, guys, welcome back. We have another question from the first chapter of the injury mechanics by Bjorn Johnson. And we have this rigid bar EFG that is supported by the truss system, as we can see on the right hand side. And we need to determine the cross sectional area of the member AE for which the normal stress in the member is 15 ksi. So the givens that we have is the, the normal stress has to be 15 ksi and also. Uh, we need to figure out the area so first of all for doing the normal stress in member a b we need the force because we know stress is equal to force in member a e divided by cross-sectional area so what we're going to do is that we have a truss in here and we're going to use our method of sections so we're going to do our section in here and we draw the free body diagram for the right portion of this truss and if we do that we're going to have one force in here so basically we have the free body diagram of this part of the truss so we're going to have fae in here which is what we're looking for fed and fab so we are in equilibrium we can use our equilibrium equations which are sum of all forces in x equals zero Gonna have same story for y and we're gonna have one moment equation about any points equals zero if you look at this we are interested in ae and if we just do our sum of all forces in y direction equals zero it's gonna show our x and y in here so basically we're gonna have the y component of fae and for finding that we need to figure out this angle let's call it theta which is not that hard to find. So if you want to find the tangent of theta, if you look at this right triangle, we're going to have the opposite, which is three over the adjacent. And since we have that known com combination for this uh, right triangle, we have three, four, we know the hypotenuse will be five. And uh, we don't even need to figure out the angle because we know the sine of theta would be the opposite over adjacent three, uh, uh, the opposite over the hypotenuse three over five and cosine of theta would be the adjacent four over five. All right, so now we're interested in the y component of FAE, which is FAE sine of theta. And we're gonna have this force minus 3,600 pound equals zero uh, sine of theta. We figured is three over five, so our FAE would be 3,600 times five divided by three. So again, this is three over five. So let's just see what we get for, so if we just do 1,200 and this is gonna give us 6,000 and the force will be in pound unit. So now that we have this, uh we can use our stress equation everything is known in here other than the area so basically our area is fae divided by the stress so 6000 divided by uh 15 ksi we just have to watch for the units we know ksi is kips per inch squared and we know one kip is equal to 1000 pounds so either we can uh, convert this to kips, so six kips over our stress, which was 15. So our area would be six divided by 15, six divided by 15 or 0.4 inches squared. And we know KSI is uh, one kip over inches squared. So yeah, the area will be in inches squared unit and the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.